David Shapiro is with us in the studio. Well, Dave, uh, day when the markets came under pressure again. Huh? Yeah, fifth day in a row. In fact, I think if you look at the index, we've probably eliminated that December rally. You know, the December started early December, went through to the first week in January. All of that has been given back now. And worries about corporate results in the United States. It's looking a lot more bleak um, than first imagined. Bernanke was speaking at the London School of Economics, and he came out with a statement that saying that fiscal packages, in other words, giving tax uh, rebates are uh, not going to be enough. Uh, you really have to go back to almost the Paulson plan of you know, saving banks and buying some of those toxic assets. We were having a good discussion here at MoneyWeb today about Atlas Shrugged. Yes. And uh, there was a fantastic article in the Wall Street Journal oh. where one of their op-eds um, had taken hold of the old Atlas Shrugged, which was mm. written 54 years ago, mm. and said, well, if you wanted to read that book and see how you design a mess up. It's exactly <laughs> what the governments are doing right now. And it's very interesting that we seem to have all lost, and not mm -hmm. us, but the Americans seem to have lost complete touch with the fact that much government intervention generally leads to disaster. Uh, it, it was interesting, without laboring the point, listening to Bush last night in his final uh, uh, interview, you know, press conference, etc. And you know, he said he was a free market. Uh, person, he said, and he was almost forced to give tax rebates, etc., because his advisors told him this. You know, we were going to a period which was going to be as bad as the Great Depression. He says, and when you're faced with that, you'll probably look for any solution. So I think uh, the authorities, I still don't think they know how to handle this. It's going to be interesting listening to Case. Uh, mm -hmm. You know how he sees it, how he sees the South African economy in the context of all of this. But I think people are laboring, and you know? I don't. I don't think there is a real solution. It's almost a day-by-day -day, uh, approach to, to, to what's happening around us. I think a good idea would be to pick up that copy of Atlas Shrugged again mm. and read through it. Because well, that was, that was uh, Greenspan's... Uh, uh, yeah, mm. a, he calls it Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand, yeah. Ayn Rand. Mm. Well, okay, Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand. <laughs> Ayn Rand, yeah. The point there being that this time around, the incompetence mm. and the overpaid incompetence of that are the ones being bailed out and mm. treated as victims, which is Almost, uh, this commentator was saying, almost similar to the position that Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand, um, <laughs> sketched back then. David, uh, the savvy going back up, the volatility index yeah. here in South Africa rising again after coming down to just below, mm -hmm. almost below 40%. Well, it's a fear index, you mm -hmm. know, it, and, and every time it rises, it just shows you fear coming back into the market. And I think this time associated with corporate profits in the United States and just complete worries about, uh, you know, where corporate profits in the U.S. are going to be uh, a year from now. There just doesn't seem to be any positive outlook. I think we're better here in South Africa. I thought, you know, if you look at ShopRite results and some of those. Mm. Mm. ShopRite is I, uh, picking up market yeah. share, big thing, big, uh, big good big story there. Spectacular results. Whitey yeah. Basson, James mm. Wellwood, to mm. give me his full name, will not be talking this mm. evening. He said he'll only talk at the results time, and you can understand oh. that. But uh, good numbers from them. Aspen had some interesting news. The appointment of Noel Guliwe as the chief executive mm. of South Africa. He's uh, got a Bachelor of Pharmacy and an MBA from WITS. And he used to be at Novartis, South mm. Africa, moved across there. Seems to be a good place uh, to attract staff to nowadays, Aspen, growing well. I think, I think uh, in fact, if you look at analysts, f you know, uh, recommendations, they're looking. You heard Imtiaz last night with Adcock Ingram. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the defensive stocks are coming in because there's going to be demand for drugs regardless of where the economy is. Sappy, well, that's not a defensive uh, stock. That seems to be going the other way. Now they're cutting their fine paper output in Europe by 25%. Yeah, that's each month you're going to hear. They're cutting it almost monthly, you know, so probably next month in February they'll cut production. Has this worked well. into, the, into the share price already? I think so. Mm. I think, I think you, you know, after that rights issue, I mean, it was such a deep discount, it's bound to find some kind of support. And also in the medical field, or getting back to the mm. medical field, Liberty moving more into that field, taking over Medicover. Is that a big deal for I, them? I David? don't think so. I. It's funny how they all went out of it and all coming back and you know looking at those areas again. Um, but again, uh, maybe they also. I, to look, you know, just just aside from that, I think all the insurers are being looked at. You know, uh, you mentioned um, Old Mutual yesterday. I think uh, Liberty being looked at, and I think they are at such deep discounts and seem to be doing better than 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 everybody expected. I think they could be one of the se sectors that surprises us on the upside this year. It is interesting that SAB Miller is now finally moving mm. into Nigeria, that, the most populous yeah. nation on this continent. Mm. 
buying control or mm. reportedly well, buying control over Nigeria. Well, it's been in North Africa, hasn't it? It's been... Not Nigeria. It's got that it's deal, been, remember, with yeah, Castel in yeah, other parts okay, of Africa. Is it Africa. Kenya or is it in one of the... One of the They're areas. in the east, but e- not in yeah, the west. Mm. Of, of Africa, mm. yeah. I'm sure. Listen, it's got to be an attractive market. I mean, uh, if you listen to Jacob Marie... Uh, about uh, Nigeria, and he reckons that it will take over leadership of, of the African continent.